As they say, patience is a virtue. Well, this couple has been very patient. But they also say the third time's a charm. So I say to that, let's do this already. like to say that we've been friends since our pre-Clemson days and in a way that's absolutely true. So it figures that when I met a guy who seemed like he would be the perfect match for Lauren, I had to set them up or at least try. My efforts began sophomore year with some casual Facebook stalking to show Lauren how cute this guy was and how he was so her type. My attempts to get them together failed early and they failed often. It was never the right time and I started to feel like this might never happen. And then the infamous spring break trip. I kept thinking, this is it. They are finally going to meet. And meet they did. By the end of night one, I was vindicated and they were smitten. Lauren, I take you as you are. Lauren, I take you as you are. Loving you who you are. Loving you who you are. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To be grateful for all our love and our life. To be grateful for all our love and our life. Tom, I take you as you are. Loving who you are. Loving who you are. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. To always be open and honest with you. To always be open and honest with you. To stay by your side. To stay by your side. To be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection. To be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection. I get to care for you and share with you. I get to care with you and share with you. I get to run with you and to walk with you. I get to run with you and to walk with you. I get to build a life with you. I get to build a life with you. I am proud from this day forward. I am proud from this day forward. To be your wife. To be your wife. I am proud from this day forward. I am proud from this day forward. To be called your husband. To be called your husband. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you the new Mr. and Mrs. Cook. I remember first hearing about Tom's plan to propose to Lauren. I'll admit at first I was a bit apprehensive. Not all about Tom proposing to Lauren, but rather about the plan to do so. It was, of course, a quintessential, elaborate, creative Tom plan where, for some reason, there was a fake apartment leak that put Lauren's clothes in danger of all being ruined. There were plane tickets bought to New Orleans solely as a decoy and later canceled. And if I'm being honest, I'm still not 100% sure how it all came together. I was obviously both relieved and excited when I found out that it finally did, and Lauren said yes. Um, honestly, so happy for both of you. I think you're great together and can't wait to see your future together. To Tom and Lauren. I'll carry you through heartache and trouble and nothing drag you down. I want you to know I won't let you go. Give me a heart and soul. We'll never let this love grow cold. 
I'll be the one to give you rest. I'll be here for you. I'll be here for you. I'll carry you through heartache and trouble and nothing drag you down. I want you to know. I won't let you go. Now give me your heart. Tom, you've grown up together facing obstacles of time, distance, and loss, and you've always made it to the other side, securing your relationship and your love for one another. You have been given an extraordinary foundation for the rest of your life, and I'm so happy we're all here to witness you take the next step towards your future together. I love you both and wish you all the happiness in the world, so if you would all please raise a glass to Lauren and Tom.